strange aliens cruising toward the planet Earth, studying our television programs and believing that what they see is real life, the way that real people really live it. Really. Dear Diary, Im's asleep again. We watch so much of Earth's life that he gets tired and plonks out. Me, I get homesick. What I wouldn't give to see the pink, pink grass of home. Em! Em! Wake up! Oh, sorry, Er. I dreamed I weighed 6,000 pounds and couldn't get through the spaceship door. No wonder, well, you ate a whole chair by yourself last night. Look! What's that? I don't know, but look at the shoulders on that one. I've seen better shoulders on Mars. In a few moments, we'll find out which lady will be Ms. Universal. Ms. Universal? Don't they know there's more to the universe than Earth? No. They've never been anywhere else except their own moon. Look, what are they wearing? Swimsuits. But there's no water. In case of flooding. Oh, and what's on their feet? Uh, high-heeled stilts. High-heeled stilts? Why? In case of flooding. Well, why are they so scared of floods? I don't know. They seem to be all wet anyway. <laughs> now, let's meet Ms. Universal and this year's reigning queen. Jim, this is how they pick their queen. What a stupid way to choose a political leader. If she leads with her shoulders, I'd follow her anywhere. <laughs> What's that on her head? A queen has to be smart. So they put that on her head to give her intelligence. Maybe it would help if you had a sparkly thing on your head. <laughs> ha ho he. That was so funny I forgot to gargle. I wonder if they pick a king this way. What's that? That's nothing. It's just a beauty contest. 